Finally, when I'm going overseas down under in Hawaii, I went aboard the SS Saratoga. Oh, yeah. You know, she was listing 40 degrees after her episode in Tokyo Bay, and that runway was 804 foot long. And I thought, boy, am I glad I'm an Air Force pilot. Then I went inside to see the facilities, and they gave you pilots, you know, that little box of a room. And I thought, boy, oh boy, I'm thankful. <laughs> I never, never did get into the Navy. We had an Air Force exchange pilot came to our squadron uh, with us for a while. I bet he cried about those short runways he, all the time, didn't he? He, he came back, he said, I, white as a sheet, you know, and he said, I didn't know they, they could land their class on, on such a short bit of <laughs> and go so slow. You guys, you know, we have to go down to almost stall speed. To, yeah, to well, land. yeah, well, yeah. Well, yours was a crash landing, now you know that. They used to go 120 miles an hour to land. Right? Yeah. Well, well, now I get into them, P-38s. 38, P-38? P-38s, and oh, I get into great. A few rides in a P-61, which you've never heard of. P-61 was a night fighter, a Northrop night fighter. They had them in the Pacific. I've heard of it. Yeah. What was the, what's the nickname of the I don't P-51? Remember. I don't remember. And the P-38, didn't it have a two? two yeah, two yeah. Double? yeah, well, they were, they were premier for that and the P-51. That's we showed up your Navy so doggone bad. I mean, uh, no comparison. I, <laughs> I, I played it quite right. I, I joined in 43. But um, you guys had done the job, you know, before I got there, so I was just, oh, I, I was lucky. I was uh, getting ready to uh, to take on uh, Japan homeland yeah. when, well, they, when they dropped the bomb yeah. over there. I was so. briefed on the invasion of my job. I was going to fly a C-47 from Manila to Okinawa, drop the load over oh, Tokyo. Yeah and do like Doolittle did. So the captain sitting next to me, just in anger, a big briefing going on, raises his hand and says, Colonel, what chance do we pilots have? He says, Captain, I wish you hadn't asked that question, but I have to give you an honest answer. If one out of four of you make it, you'll be lucky. He said, that's the reason I'd kiss Harry Truman's feet right now. You would too. Yeah. Mm. So, nice meeting you. <laughs> and good luck, despite the fact that you're a neighbor, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're on uh, 19 Hollyhock in Sugar, in, uh, uh, Sugar um, Oak Village. 19 you, Hollyhock. You know where the pool is in Oak Village? No, but I mean, we live we're getting... Well, we're very, very... I, yeah, it would be nice. I was recording you, by the way, sir. I know sir. you were. <laughs> the stories, these stories are going to be lost in 10 years from now. Oh, I know that. Right? I got a few more Wait, stories. Well, I'd so love for you to come by. Yeah. And uh, my, we are, uh, we're very close to the, to the um, uh, clubhouse in Oak Village. Okay. So we're on 19 Hollyhock Court. You don't have a pen, do you? Uh, we definitely... Wait, I bet my dad has a pen in here. Wait, <laughs> Hold on. What's your name? Uh, Hank. Hank. Hank is Zara. Cesare. No, Zarek. Z A R E K. Okay, Zarek. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, sir. Neighbor? Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Like right the now. LA baseball yeah, yeah, yeah. superstar, yeah. right? Yeah. I wish I was him. Yeah. Air Force 54, probably. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, what, what class did you graduate in? Do you remember? I don't, that, that's a hard remember. one, yeah. <laughs> See, we Air Force pilots, we went by what year you graduated and what have you. So if you were a fi uh, graduated from West Point 53, you were oh, probably 55 in 54 or 55. Cause, yeah, because he... I'm back in 42 when I went in. Really? I graduated in 44. Yeah, so. my dad graduated in 52 from Annapolis. Uh, oh, so was that right? He went to Annapolis, oh, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I couldn't give him a, forgive his dad being a Navy pilot. You know, <laughs> you know, I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was, yeah, he said he had some stories, so I invited him over and you could, like, uh, you know, share, hear his stories. He had a pretty wife. Did you see how pretty his wife, wife is? Was? Or is? He didn't get a look. Oh, she's a cutie. She looked at least uh, in her 80s. Buried at least uh, at least 10, 15, maybe 20 years younger. <laughs> She's a good-looking woman.
did all right for himself. Which, which and wife that is. Which, well, what number? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to ask him. But uh, she, he was driving, too. She wasn't driving. He was driving his car. Pretty impressive. 94 and still driving, so I guess he still has his eyes. Looks like he's gonna kick go to a hundred. He must have a higher goal than you. 